We're done. We are done. We're done. No more. In those down, scattered clouds, smell of spring, I'm sad. Open road, you sit in close. Let's go somewhere far away. Cause if all I have is you, then I'll be just fine. Literally, we're done with this. <laughs> we're done. Can't handle it. Can't do it. Hey guys, it's Kevin. <laughs> and I'm Kim. And we are back here at the end of our season of 2022. You asking it as a question or a statement? We are at the end of our season three. So, <laughs> and we are done. We so are done. No, we can't handle it no more. <laughs> we are done with this year. I'm kind of glad to see that uh, 2022 in the, our rear view mirror. Yeah. But uh, definitely was a very memorable uh, year for everybody. So for all everybody that's been out there supporting us and watching us. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want to talk about there, Kim? I don't know. What do you want to talk about there, dear Kevin? <laughs> we're, I guess we're going to talk we're about... We're so out of tune here. We are. So we are going to... Do highlights of what happened last year. Yes. We'll do a little season three recap and... Things we liked and things we didn't like. And then we'll get into talk about what our plans are for this next coming season. Yes. So let's so get started. So on his, I know his is all about the truck. It's all about the truck. It's all about the truck. Hey. It's a truck. It's got more space. That's it does. It, uh, it's got exactly what you wanted. And, you happy. Yes. And unfortunately, I got to drive it. And um, don't go 80. No. With the trailer. Not at all. It's, it's, it's got some, <laughs> some muscle and... Yeah, he's like, babe, I'm like, then drive. I mean, that's all I can say. But yeah, we're pleased with the truck. But yeah, we did have that announcement. We announced it last year of our new member of our family. People for the longest thought, I guess we were pregnant. But that wasn't the new member of the family. The new member of the KKO family was our truck that we have. Yeah. So that is our retirement truck. And it also opens up more opportunities. We may uh, give another opportunity as our family grows. And maybe a, a bigger RV. Yes. Is that in the horizon for this year? Who knows? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Give me some votes. Yes! The kids are getting bigger. <laughs> but anyway, no, the truck definitely is uh, something that was a big major change and everything to us. Uh, I know it might not seem like a lot, but as our kids get older, kids get bigger. Now we're able to take bigger trips, and so it kind of met more of the needs of the family. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, what are some other things, that major things that happened to us this past year? We went on a mission trip as a family, and that was yeah. the first time the three of us, he's been on several, but for me, it, it was really cool. And Nathan talks about it a lot. And Yeah, that was definitely a memorable yeah. moment for our family of doing that mission trip. Yeah. Um, if you ever have an opportunity to go and do a mission trip, you know, especially with your family, it'd be something really highly encouraged yeah. because it, it definitely changed our lives, and it was great to be able to give back. It was a lot of work, though. So, but, but it most, was well worth most it. mission trips are, so they're not all fun and games, but it was definitely a rewarding experience. Yeah. So, yeah, that was pretty memorable. Yeah, that, that was year. a do again. Definitely. So, then um, we did some floating. Well, we floated the Illinois and we floated Anderson. Uh, Anderson, and then we went to Mulberry, and now that just ruined it for us. Yeah, the Mulberry River was definitely uh, really pretty sweet. It was nice, and then we, we had to um, endure the sack. It's the sacks or something. Yeah, yeah, it's a very dangerous and it can when we did it we were like, What's this all about? But then we realized that it can suck you in and just have this whirlpool effect. And it can be dangerous. But, but we it was survived. Exciting. It was it was exciting. Didn't one of the kids, Autumn or Nathan, fell in? No. I thought somebody fell in. No, you always are the one. Oh, that maybe falls I, have to, in. I don't remember yeah. how I fell in. And we had our oldest son with and he jumped off the cliff without a life jacket. 
Mm, yeah, and that's right. Did some close like, time. babe, you can really hurt yourself. So, but it was a really great trip. So now we really don't want to go back to Anderson in Illinois because it's. We'll still go back to Anderson, Illinois. Yeah. That was all right. Those are nice. No, we went to Carthage. Yeah, that was a neat little town. That was a really neat town. There was so much. You know, who would have known that Carthage in the area uh, that they had all that things to do there? Mm -hmm. It was actually kind of you know hidden gem and really the inexpensive. Oh, it was all one free. of the inexpensive areas. It was. Yeah, and we loved the precious moments. That was a surprise. The um, red oak too was really. Oh, the red oak too was really neat. Find out when the festival is, and I think that would be really cool to go see. Oh, yes. And then, of course, the Route 66 drive-in theater. Right. Got to go to a drive-in. Nostalgic. Loved it. The kids loved it. So that was awesome. The next thing we're going to talk about is um, Eureka Springs. We went there oh, twice. Yeah. We did. Yeah, Eureka Springs is a really, really great town. Uh, riding the trolley, I think, was, was really fun and uh, get to kind of experience around uh, New Eureka Springs, the Arkansas. The driving and parking is not... Yeah, I don't know if I would really take the new truck driving on those narrow roads. That'd be yeah, really that's scary. why the trolley is really good. It does pick you up at some campgrounds. Use it. Yeah. Really use it. Yeah, Utilize it. Use the it. trolley for mm -hmm. sure to get around town. It's actually going to go bounce around shopping and everything yeah. else. It's better than parking. It is. It really is. And then the passion play... Or that Thorn Crown Chapel oh, was really beautiful. nice. beautiful. Yeah. So beautiful. There, there, there's lots to do. I think there's many more things we didn't even get an opportunity to do everything yeah. else to do. So we may, uh, you know, check out more since we're not too far from there. Uh, but yeah, Eureka Springs is actually a really cool town to go visit. Highly recommend that. Mm -hmm. So well, Then we had ended it with our big trip. Yes, the big trip. With our truck. That was... That was a, I think that was the first like it was that was the first trip out, wasn't it, with the truck? It was because we the, were we were in a hurry trying to get a thousand miles on it so we can tow for it. So we can go back and visit my family and and um, just make sure everybody's okay. And the yeah. kids vetoed going any place farther than an hour and a half because the truck was so small. Yeah, the old F one fifty was just uh, it was too small in the back. So we decided since we're there, we might as well take the long way home. Oh, yes. Oh, it was well worth it. Well worth it. As you saw, my hometown, Ground Forks. There's a lot a, of people were on our the, that video. They were, people were really impressed and liked all the town. didn't realize. I didn't realize that. Okay. It was very fascinating. Good to know. Um, then we hit Medora. Yeah. Beautiful. I think I loved it just because where we camped, the view was spectacular. It was, yeah. Walk right out, see the, the mountain bluffs <sighs> right outside the window. <laughs> and there was a lot to do there. And a lot of there it was is. closed, so really check the times that you're going, the season, a lot of it was closed. Yeah, because we went during that, that shoulder season, uh, we went during that shoulder, shoulder season in the fall time mm -hmm. frame, and, and it was right before they was getting ready to shut down and close, and yep. still, you know, but, you know, it was still a great time. It was still a great season. It wasn't as crowded, you know, maybe it was the best right. time to go. But then we couldn't see some of the, no, that the library in... Teddy Roosevelt Museum. A lot of the attractions were closed and yeah. stuff. Yeah. But it was really, and then the um, the park. Yeah. The Theater Roosevelt National Park. That was cool. We got to get a little stamp, mark it off our bucket yep. list. And then we went west. Yes, absolutely. I would, yes. That crazy, crazy Cor woman canyon. It was so much. I'm so glad the road closed because we got to walk. I know. It was, it was kind so of a, fun. It was kind of a neat adventure doing that and seeing that and be able to walk down a road that normally that you would drive. Yeah. But it was, it was, it was absolutely gorgeous. It was a nice hike. It was. Uh, just the bluffs, everything. And we almost lost Autumn or Autumn got too excited and decided to go just ahead. Just kept of us. walking. But yep. yeah, no, that, that was beautiful. And it then, was. Uh, you know, that drive going down i forgot what that highway was in wyoming where all the mountains and it was all curvy and stuff uh that was that was absolutely it was beautiful. beautiful yeah so it was definitely worth going back i would like to go back at another time and explore more wyoming is is a is a beautiful state you know yes you know we went to uh what was that no oh. devil's tower on the way going to south dakota uh, marked that off the list. Uh, it was okay, but it was definitely, uh, you know, one of the little check off the list. So then we made ourselves to South Dakota. It was fun. 
South Dakota is, uh, I definitely would go back to South Dakota at Custer. I would like to spend more time there at Custer State Park. Yes. Uh, I couldn't believe all the wildlife and the animals yes. that were everywhere. Just that free was roaming cool. and stuff. The tunnels were cool. Oh, yeah. Needles Highway. So, if, I don't know how cool it was with me. It was pretty scary going through that uh, with only mere inches on either side and of, of the truck. With only having it for three months, the truck, to put a dent going through a tunnel. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. That wouldn't have been very happy for me. And something I learned doing these videos, check on the maps of Google because I went to the Sylvan Lake to snapshot it. There was hiking trails and more to do that I didn't realize. Mm. So I'm going to investigate more before I go so I'm not missing things. Yeah. I, I, I wish we got to really hike more. Yeah. And do more. It was a little cold when we were there. Kinda. And and Mount Rushmore at night, I guess, is beautiful. Had I known that, right. I would have went through Nathan wanted to play with the rocks before Needles Highway Tunnel. Wish we would have. Then went through, then went to Mount Rushmore and spent the time. And more at Sullivan Lake. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was so, so beautiful. Unexpected. Like it was. We didn't know that it Come was. Come around there. the corner and it was like this perfect mirror lake and oh. It was, oh it was absolutely and there was more hiking trails back in there oh i would have loved but we were pressed for time to get we through were. the tunnel we were we were trying to get to the tunnels before it got dark yeah because i don't know if i'd want to go through that tunnel in the dark no <laughs> no we know you can do it but i still wouldn't i, yeah, I still wouldn't i still wouldn't so yeah these are things that we liked in 2022 yeah we had a really great time a lot of great memories uh i was glad to kind of really finish that big trip you know that we had that was definitely something on our bucket list we marked off some uh national parks to put stamps in our passport thing national park passport and uh was able to put more states on our map that we visited yeah that was fun to see like really right down the midwest yeah now we have to go we gotta west go more east, east. Hmm, Florida. All right, that's also kind of Michigan. Yes. What else is What else is down there? Maine. Georgia, Maine. Oh, I love Maine, Maine all up there. Yeah, go Michigan, Maine. Kind of. I would love to do the uh, um, thirteen colonies. That's nah, just because I'm homeschooled. What are some of y'all's uh, favorite moments that you that you had for us? Definitely put in the comments down below. Uh, please also don't forget give us that thumbs up if you continue liking us continue to do these videos or should we be done done for making this stuff I'm done I mean you know we're done with this not with this with the weather <laughs> yeah. but the one thing we like to say uh, ending this uh, kind of recap is we like to thank everyone I mean most importantly uh, everybody Just that sticking has with us that kind of has and has really been watching us every week and give the comments uh, there's many of y'all out there that I communicate with and talk with and uh, really kind of growing that that KKOA community uh, really doing this has kind of really made it being part of the community and so we try to you know let you guys be part of our family and part of our adventures and we also try to do things to give back to you, you know, to kind of help others. And we're still learning. And we're still learning. We are. We're noobs. So with this. But uh, so what can we look forward to going into our season four? What do we have planned for this year, Kim? Well, now that you mentioned the RV situation, Springfield RV yeah, show. Yeah, the Springfield RV show that we went to last year. They had kind of sent us a... Uh, invite to come back so we may go do that start that off because I think that's coming up I believe should be coming Double up months. months or week or something like that from here and we have our second annual um, connect group yes and it's getting bigger last year that was a uh, that was definitely it was our first time doing that with our connect group that has kind of turned into a big thing and now we are expanded and we've got more people it's becoming a big kind of rally kickoff thing uh which is good that was fun time so we it like we like having more people and and uh you know doing things and going uh you know camping with it's more fun when you have other you know group yeah of people. and more kids for the kids to play with yeah so we don't have to entertain so yeah we've got that planned on the horizon going into this spring yep uh coming up then we have the um fourth july 4th roundup 
yeah, we're going to be doing a roundup again uh, in July 4th. We're going to be back at, uh, where we going? Lost Bridge South. So and we have we just, more couples coming. We do. We have more people coming. They've booked uh, spots and everything with us. So there's uh, we're going to be doing kind of a little roundup. Be out there on the lake for 4th of July again with the, four, with the fireworks. Mm -hmm. uh, looking forward to that um, that we have. Uh, we'll probably go ahead and do a lot more of our a lot we've got a lot of good responses on those how-to videos yeah uh, it seems like a lot of people have asked a lot of questions and a lot of people in the community uh, doing the the how-to videos I, i've got several other things that i need to do and how to's uh, so it's, it's probably in kind of in between time in between of us starting to get out there and travel you'll probably see more of those how-to videos and uh, yes. rv park overviews and things like that before we kind of really get get kicking off the season and what i've noticed is you like the top 10 or the top six oh, in that yeah. area what to do yeah so we might find like carthridge I'm so, yeah on. find some hidden towns kind of in our region in our area uh to go do some yeah that's uh, a lot yeah. of people did have a lot of good responses and, uh, and why, what to do in an area what if you yeah. go to a town and why not our area because there's a lot of, that i haven't been to that I in northwest like. arkansas so let's hit them yeah yeah good idea maybe we'll do a uh a like a like series. a mini top 10 thing to do in northwest arkansas what do y'all think give your comments down below tell us you think we should do that make a video yeah it's a good idea we ought yeah. to do that so we should float more yeah there are a couple rivers i would like to try the buffalo kind of got us spoiled uh, I know the King River in Arkansas was something I have kind of looking at on our list because we enjoy floating. We do. We do. So, But the best time to float, of course, is going to be in the springtime when the water is running and when everything's going instead of waiting until, uh, you know, in the summer yeah. when it's all dried out. Mm -hmm. So what else do we have? Then we're going to go on a big trip. Yep. Another big trip. Where we got planned for this year? What's our big... Big trip we're going to do for season four. Well, if you look on the map, we mostly did here. Down the, the central of the Yes, of the United so we have We also west. did, we did it east Tennessee and all that. Some Ye south, yes. southeast. Yes, so we need to do west or northern east. Yeah. Section. We're going to go north <laughs> to Michigan. That's where we're going. I say we take Route 66 all the way there. Ooh, that'd be fun. No. I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, but we're, we're we going to do the lighthouse tour up in Michigan. Yes. Mackinac Bridge. We're going to go take the ferry. We've seen so much. Everybody talks about and raves about going to Mackinac and uh, uh, Wilderness uh, State Park up there in northern Michigan. So our big trip we plan to do this year is we are going to pack it up and go up to northern Michigan, go into the Upper Peninsula, the UP, go to Mackinac Island, and then try to go on all the White House tour all around the, the Michigan. So yeah. sounds like fun. That'll be fun. What do y'all? What do you guys think? You think that sounds like it'd be a good trip? And if you've been there, what? Yeah, um, what are some things to see? Put in the comments of places that you think we need to hit. Uh, why we go to Michigan or at least along the way. Yeah. So, but that definitely is, uh, that's kind of where we're, our planning that we have. Do we got anything else planning? I think that's uh, where we're going to end our season with our big trip. Well, are we going to have And our, then little in betweeners. Are we going to have our same RV for that big trip? No. <laughs> well, let's go big. <laughs> go big or stay home. The kids are getting big. Well, yeah, he said it. No, I didn't. He said it. I don't think that's in the cards this year, but hey, who knows? We don't ever know what 2023 uh, happens. But once again, we definitely want to uh, thank all you guys uh, and being part of it. We'd like to kind of, if, if you see us out there and out and about, please stop in and say hi. We had this past year, we had a lot of people that we met, that we was out, that, that seen us, that sees our videos. Uh, and it was great. It was great getting to run into people in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, but well, that pretty much ends our recap and our kickoff season, so to speak. Uh, please don't forget to tune in for each week at 7 p.m. on Sunday, and for our videos. And continue to uh, watch us out there and. 
follow us on Instagram or check out our, our homepage at kkoa.net. Oh, that's it. So, <laughs> bye. In those down, scattered clouds, smell of spring, I'm sad. Open road, you sit in clothes. Let's go somewhere far away. Cause if all I have is you, then I'll be just fine.